No, seriously, where is it, guys? Where is the beef? I've been looking for it everywhere. You stole it, didn't you? Wow, there's all kinds of different zombies in this episode. Hey, guys, how's it going? It's Dane. I, I, I bet you didn't know that. Um, we're going to play some Plants vs. Zombies. Did, I bet you didn't know that either. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out which plants I want to grab. There's so many options, and I have very little. I think, yeah, I want to make sure I have the jalapeno, because if those minor guys get under my plants, I, I got to take them out. So, that's my logic, and I'm sticking to it. Woo! Let's plant some plants. Plant some plants. Um, plant some plants. Mm -mm. Plant some plants. Let's do it. All right. I'm done. Sorry. I got jamming. Maybe I should make a Plants vs. Zombies song? Would that... Would, well, I bet you guys would buy that on iTunes. No, you wouldn't. They'd be terrible. I would never do that. Um... Anyways, you know what, guys? You know what I forgot to do last episode? And uh, I spent the rest of the night after I uploaded it just tossing and turning in bed because I realized I had forgotten about it. Uh, I forgot to ask you guys to ask for thumbs. I always ask you to do something and then ask for thumbs. And I forgot. I apologize. I am so sorry. Uh, please forgive me. If, if you could find it in your heart to forgive me... Please let me know in the comments below and ask for thumbs. Ask for so many thumbs. Ask for like a million thumbs. And uh, maybe if you if you if you find it in your heart to forgive me, I will give you thumbs up because I appreciate that you've forgiven me. And then I'll be able to sleep at night again because I don't want to go to bed tonight and not be able to sleep because I'm worried that you guys didn't get your rightful thumbs. Everybody deserves thumbs. They do, they do. That's the word on the street. Everyone gets thumbs. Thumbs, thumbs, thumbs. Um, so what you guys up to? Anything fun? Did you, uh, are you working hard at school? Are you getting good grades? You're not getting in any fights, are you? I hope not. Um, you know, that's one thing. I've, I've never actually been in a, like, a, a knockdown drag out fight in uh, in school or in life in general um I, i've gotten into shoving matches but it never it never uh dissolved into actual fists flying um yeah i don't know how about you guys you ever gotten a fist fight if so let me know in the comments below what what happened how did you how did you get into it who won um i've had a few altercations where Things turned to uh, to shoving. Uh, there was one time I was at a concert, I believe. Boy, I don't know what concert it was, but it was definitely a heavy metal concert because that's the only kind of concerts I ever went to when I was uh, when I was when I was younger. But um, I was with my girlfriend at the time, and there was this big beefy dude. You know, one of those dudes. And I apologize if you are one of those dudes, but. It was one of those guys that was just gigantic. Uh, they go to the, you know, they go to the concerts and they take their shirts off and they, you know, they usually have shaved heads and they pretty much just go into the mosh pit to try and hurt people. Um, I've encountered a few of those kinds of people in my day and I was usually not that that uh, I was usually not that fond of them. But we'll just put it that way. But anyways, one of those dudes, like, he was flailing around, of course, and we were up front watching, and uh, this guy totally nailed my girlfriend in the face. And, uh, you know, smashed, you know, smacked her really good. And what happened? What? I don't even know what happened. There was an explosion, but I didn't see anything. It's because of this fog. Uh, anyways, so this dude smacks my girlfriend in the face. And, uh, you know, she, you know, grabs her face and, you know, obviously in pain. And the guy's like, oh, sorry. And uh, it was it was just the way he said it. You know, it was totally, he wasn't sorry. He didn't, he didn't, you know, mean it genuinely. He thought it was funny. So, of course, you know, being the boyfriend and, and all of that, you know, and seeing this happen, instantly I got angry. And, uh, and, you know, I just instantly, I just said, 
Hey, screw you, man. Only I didn't say screw. I said another word, which I won't say here because there are small ears listening. Um, and I said, yeah, I said, you know, screw you, man. And of course, he, he turns to me and he's, he, you know, he's just like, what? What'd you say? And so, you know, I repeated. I was like, screw you, man. And the guy comes at me. And like I said, he's a big dude. He's way bigger than me. Uh, so he, he just like hauls off and pushes me. And, you know, I, I kind of, you know, take a few steps back because, you know, he gave me a good push. And like instantly I just saw red. And so I just came running at him and it was funny. You know, when you're watching professional wrestling and before the even or, or even boxing or, or you know stuff like that. And before the fighters even fight, they have to stand face to face with their chests together and like, you know, staring each other down. I did that. Like I came flying at him, but I didn't like throw a punch or anything. I just totally like rammed his chest with my chest and like got in his face and stared him down. And I was just like, what's up, man? What's up? <laughs> and so the guy, he pushes me again, like hard, you know, and I go back a few steps. I just came right back at him, you know, just flew into his chest with my chest and glared him down nose to nose. I was, you know, like I said, seeing red and I was ready to go for it. And then the guy, all of a sudden, he was just like, yeah, you know, pimp squeak, whatever, and just walked away. And it was crazy. Like, uh, you know, uh, for some reason, that diffused the situation, the, the chest bumping. Um, and no fists were ever thrown. Like, he backed down. <laughs> and so just keep that in mind. If you ever get in a fight, uh, just chest bump, and that will solve everything. No, actually, don't do that. Don't don't take my, don't do that because you might end up getting hurt more than you would have before. But uh, anyways, thanks for listening, guys. Until next time, say no to drugs. Say yes to jumping. <laughs>